Well, I think in the modern era, innovation is, is critical uh, in the way we approach international affairs. Um, uh, innovation, uh, to me, in a, in a diplomatic sense, means um, uh, breaking down the silos uh, and making, taking a more uh, multidisciplinary approach to uh, modern uh, challenges, uh, because these incorporate not just the traditional political and security uh, dimensions, but uh, economic dimensions, uh, scientific dimensions, um, uh, psychological dimensions, and uh, the only way we're going to successfully address uh, these issues is to try to bring all aspects of this together. And I, I think this is one thing I've found uh, GCSP is, is uh, putting a great deal of emphasis on, uh, just as uh, at Georgetown we're seeing that, that same focus. Um, I think uh, for innovation to be successful, though, it's not enough just to break down barriers and take a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, another key element of this is leadership, and uh, you need the, the, the courage to bring innovative approaches to, uh, to, to uh, addressing various problems. Uh, very often there's a reluctance to take new approaches, and, and uh, uh, it's not enough to have creative thinking. You've got to have the willingness to bring it to bear. Uh, I think uh, GCSP and certainly uh, Georgetown Institute for Study of Diplomacy put a premium on leadership uh, and how to cultivate uh, leaders in, in uh, international affairs today, and uh, I think that's extremely important. Well, I think uh, training at, at uh, multiple levels of one's career is a gift, and um, you know, I, I know in the military one tends to see that uh, professional military education is built into uh, the career of every officer. It's obligatory. Uh, in the diplomatic world, in government, in the private sector, that's not always the case, uh, but I think that um, uh, it's extremely important to try to uh, create those opportunities because uh, it uh, makes you a more effective uh, uh, official or uh, employee. You bring to bear uh, new ways of looking at things. Uh, you develop uh, more effective networks of people who can help you uh, look at problems in a more effective way. And, um, and it gives you a chance to recharge your batteries too. And so. Uh, I think uh, those organizations that put a premium on professional education along the way uh, are going to uh, receive benefits in the long term.